Hello everyone, welcome back to the Action RPG lessons. In lesson number 11, we'll look at text objects and use them to show the player's health and ammo variables on the screen. First, I want you to find in the Asset Store the Heart Sprite and add that to your game. I'm going to call it Heart and it'll be heart.png. To display the ammo, we're just going to use the ammo pack sprite. We're going to add these objects as background objects inside the game. The reason I'm using the background object is because it doesn't have any code inside it. It's just going to sit there and look pretty. So before we set the puzzle room, what we're going to do is we're going to create two more background objects. The first, I'm going to name health symbol, and it's going to equal that BG class. Now I have to set its sprite here, just like we do for the other backgrounds. So I'm going to say health symbol dot sprite equals sprite, and it's going to be that heart dot PNG. I'm going to place this symbol at the top left of the screen. So I need to have a negative x value to put it on the left side. It's going to equal negative 550. And the y is going to equal 300. Now we also want to change the z so it shows up on top of everything else. And finally, we want to set it to be persistent so that it doesn't get deleted as soon as we load the level. And that's all the lines we need for this symbol. And look at that, it shows up in the top left corner just like we wanted. Next, we want to do the same thing to keep track of the ammo. I'm going to copy this code and paste it again down below here. Here, I'm going to call it ammo symbol instead. So we need to change all of these to match. Here I'm just copying and pasting the name. The sprite is going to use the arrow pack sprite, and I'm going to increase the size of it so it matches the size of that health symbol. So I'll say self dot ammo symbol dot scale x is equal to 4. Now I know I need to use the number 4 because I've tested this out before, but in case that you didn't know beforehand, you can just try out different numbers and see what works. I'll also need to increase the y scale by the same amount. And if we hit play, there it is. So, these are just the symbols on the screen. In order to tell the player how much health they have or how many arrows they have, we need to look at text. We can display text on the screen using the new text function. First, we have to give it a name, just like any other object. I'm going to name this one just example for now. It's going to equal a new text. Now the new text function requires three pieces of information. The first is the string of the text that we want to put on the screen. I'm just going to type hello here for now. Next, we need the position of it, so the x and then the y. I'm just going to place it a little bit to the top right, not too far, as an example. So here it has an x of 100 and a y of 100. Now in order to make it show up, we're going to have to set its z to 1 and its persistent to true, just like we did for the symbols. So I'm going to go ahead and copy those lines and paste them down below here. We just need to change the ammo symbol to say example instead. 
if I hit play, we get the text hello right there. Now, as you can see, it's pretty small and its default color is black. We can change both those things. I'm going to make it a bit bigger and change the color to white. I'm going to use this text to display the health inside this heart over here. So first, I'm going to change the name of it to say health text. And I'm going to modify the names below to match that. Now instead of saying hello, what I want to do is print the player's current health. I can do that by just substituting in the player's health variable in there. So if I say self.hero.health, I should see the number three now instead. There it is. Let's go ahead and position it in the top left corner here. So I need to change its X position to be about negative 550 and its Y position to be about 300. Let's see how that looks. Still not quite right. It needs to go up a little more and left a little more. So I'm going to say 560 and 310. That's looking better. We can fine tune it later, but for now, let's make it bigger and make that text white. So in order to make the text bigger inside a text object, we need to say self.healthText.fontSize with a capital S and I'm going to set it equal to 50. We can change the color in a similar way. We say health text dot color equals white. You can choose a different color by just substituting in a different color name in there. It can be blue or green. I'm going to stick with white though. And I'm going to have to modify the position a little bit because I changed the size. As you can see, it's gone down a little bit and a bit more to the right. So I'm going to make this negative 565 and 330. That's looking much better. Now you'll notice if I walk over to the other room and take some damage, the health up here, it doesn't update. What we need to do is go to the loop and update it there. We can access the text component of the text object the same way we access the font size or color. So inside the loop, we're going to say self dot health text dot text. I know that might be confusing. It's the text component. So whatever the text object is saying, and we're going to set it equal to the self dot hero dot health. So that we're updating that text, that number, every frame. And just like that, look at that, down to one. And if I go to zero, I'm going to get an error because we destroy the player and we're still trying to access some information about it. We'll look at that in a moment. First, let's get the ammo working too. It's going to be set up in the same way as this one. So what we can do is copy this code, paste it again, and just change some information around. This one is going to be called ammo text. Now we want to use this name down below as well. So we need to replace these with ammo text. And instead of using the hero's health, we want to use the hero's ammo. And we want to place it on the right side of the screen. Let's try 565 and see if that works. It's close, but we need to reduce the X a little bit. I'll try 535. Much better. Much better. And since we have zero ammo at the start, it's accurate, but we also need to keep track of when it changes in the loop. So we need to do the same thing here. We need to say self.ammo text dot text equals self dot hero dot ammo. And when we play, 
and we collect our bow, that should change to be 15. All right, it's not perfect, but it'll do. Next, we're going to add a temporary text, a message that'll appear and then disappear after a little while. Great for pieces of dialogue or telling the player some temporary information, like they acquired the bow. For that, we need to add a new class. I'm going to call this temp text because it's going to be temporary text. Inside this temp text, we're going to give it a timer. I'm going to name it destroy timer. And it's going to equal 120. We also need to give it a text object. So we're going to say self dot my text equals a new text. And for now, we're just going to print the message hello. And we're going to place it wherever the temp text is. So we're going to say self dot x and self dot y. And once again, I'm going to make the text bigger. So I need to change the font size. It's going to equal 50. And I'm going to make the text white. So the color equals white. So whenever we create a temp text object, it's also going to create a text object wherever that temp text is. Now right now, the temp text doesn't have a sprite and it's gonna show up as that empty image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it behind all the other objects. I'm gonna say self.z equals negative one. So it'll show up behind the background and we'll never see it. Now let's use that destroy timer. Inside the loop, we're going to count it down so we're going to say self dot destroy timer minus equals one. And if that destroy timer reaches zero, well, you can guess what happens. We're going to first destroy self, but we also want to destroy that text object that we created. So they both disappear at the same time. So we say destroy self dot my text. Now that this is set up, let's test it out. When we open the chest, we're going to display that message. So inside the loop of the chest, when we press the E key, we're going to create a temp text. I'm going to call it bow text and it's going to equal that temp text class. Let's try it out. If I bring this over to the coin, I spawn the chest and I open the chest and I get the hello message, which disappears after two seconds. We wanna change a couple things about that. First, we want the text to be relevant to the situation we're gonna tell the player that they got the bow and they can press space to shoot. We're also going to position the text where the chest was. Otherwise, it just shows up in the middle of the screen at zero, zero. So, we've got this bow text object and we're going to set its position to where the chest was. That's the easy part. I'm going to add a little space above here to separate this and make it easier for us to read. This section is all about the bow text. Next, we want to change the message that the bow text has. So we need to access that my text variable inside it, the one that's actually displaying the message. So we say bow text dot my text and then we need the text component. So we need text. That's a lot of text. We can set it equal to whatever message we want. 
I'm going to say got bow use space to shoot. Let's see how it looks. I'll bring the star over and spawn that chest. And it looks like it's a little bit off to the side. And that's because the exposition of the text starts here and then progresses to the right side. In order to fix that, we'll have to modify the my text position by a little bit. So head to the next line and we'll say bow text dot my text dot x minus equals 200. And that should help with centering it where we want. Much better. And just like that, the player has the information they need in order to shoot some arrows. That's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we'll get the NPC talking to us using those text objects. We'll also be able to spend our gems to buy health potions or ammo. I'll see you there.